Okay, so normally I wouldn't do a video on this. I was just going to snap some photos, uh, but it turned out to be a little bit larger than I thought, and I thought it'd be kind of a nice, neat video to have here. So I've got somebody who brought in a mower deck. I uh, just dropped a riding lawn mower, nothing major, but it's got some cracks around the spindle mounts, and that's kind of common on a lot of these mowers, and there's even an aftermarket fix for it. So I'll get in and show you the, the damage and the aftermarket fix that you can do. Uh, when he called me up and told me what was going on, I kind of figured, oh, this will be a quick and simple, no big deal. Uh, and then I got into the mower. So let me flip cameras here and we'll show. Okay, so here we have the mower. And you see I, I ground away and there's a crack right here, here. There's another one on this hole. I don't think that one goes further. You gotta grind and find out. But this is pretty common. And what it's from is when people are mowing and the, the deck hits something on uneven in rocks, these spindles can move a little bit when the blades hit objects underneath, things like that. So you can buy this little ring. And normally what you do is if you get a small crack like these, people just clamp the rings on between the ring and the spindle. The spindle goes from the underside up and the ring clamps down on the top and you can see it gives it a nice clamping surface. Uh, whereas originally there was just bolts in these holes with washers going into that spindle I just showed. So, you know, some people do it in the beginning when it's brand new and they'll buy these rings and put them on and never have any problems after that. Uh, this gentleman, of course, you know, didn't have the rings on. He had them. He hadn't gotten them on yet and had some cracks in the mower deck. And I thought, okay, this is super simple. Just a little grind and weld, grind and weld and all good. So he drops off the mower deck. And tells me, he goes, okay, there's a few other things that are cracked. Can you weld that up as well? So here's this bracket that is cracked. And I don't know if it'll show on film, but that's 3 16 of an inch down. It, I mean, it's through the metal. It's gone. It's just pushed this bracket back this way and cranked it right down through the metal. So we're going to have to sandblast that because it'd be quicker than getting in with a grinder here. We got that one. He's got a similar crack on this mount over here. Nowhere near as bad. Uh, that one won't be too bad to fix. There's a crack on a front wheel, again, where he hit something and a bracket like this cracked. So then I get to the other hole, and here's this other one. Okay, so you can see this crack here, that is uh, about two inches, two and a quarter, all the way to this one. That's probably a three inch crack through the deck. There's multiple cracks here, here, here. Over here, this one, all the way up to here, and a crack around where it broke there. This one is almost a four inch crack all the way up through. So we've got those, and you can see the holes are all out around, right? So even when this ring goes back on, right, those holes are gonna be out around. So he wants the rings welded on. So that's good, that'll help a lot, because otherwise, what I would end up having to do is basically weld all of this in and drill new holes out to make them round again. And depending upon how the straightening of this goes, because nothing here is in a plane, the whole ring itself is off kilter and the cracked areas, like you can see, this is down significantly. That's down almost a quarter inch right there. We got to bring that back up. This has to come back up. Um, this one, this hole is cranked this way. So we've got to bring the hole back vertical to get this metal flat. This one here isn't too bad, but it's got part of the warp from the whole deck. So we've got to do this whole thing. So I figured I'd grab some video of this, uh, putting it on here, uh, just to show the before and afters. So I'm going to get into some more grinding, cleaning, and prep work, and then we'll come back as we work through this. Okay, so here's what I did to level out the plane of this mower deck. I took the rings that he provided. I have one on top and one on the bottom. Clamped them with some grade 5 hardware and drove them in with the impact. So that brought this metal all back up to the single plane that it originally belonged to. Uh, so I can start welding. i got to grind out the back end of these cracks. But I can weld as far as I can get on these to help maintain that grade. And like this needs a little pounding and hammering in place. But the ring will hold it. So I can do that. And on the back side, there's a lot more access to these cracks because it's an outer versus an inner weld. You know, it's on the opposite side of this hump. So I'll grind those out as well and weld them from the back side. And that should give me a lot more stability when I remove this ring to keep this plane in the same alignment. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that piece done and we'll come back and see how it worked out. 
Okay, so here's the back side. Uh, I found a couple welds uh, when I flipped it over where the cracks were visible on this side, but not the other side. So just, uh, you know, give a few little tacks on those guys there. So I'm going to flip it over, and what we're going to do now is take this ring off and see how flat the top surface is. So I'm going to flip this over, and I'll get over there and do that. Uh, while I was here also, I did just spot check these and noticed each of these holes did have some very light cracks going from inside to outside in every one of them. So while down here, I ground those in and uh, filled those as well. So we'll top side check those when we flip it over. So I'll get it flipped and we'll come back over and take a look at the other side. Here's the top side of those ones where I found the small welds and you can actually see a little more where the cracks are. They showed up on this side after welding. Here, there's another little one. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, there it is. That one here, those weren't visible when I first ground this down. Um, flipping them over, I could see them on the back side. Welding showed them on the front side, so we'll put a little weld over here, grind them out and weld them. Okay, so here's the ring, and we've got some nice heavy weld bead put here. A little bit here, that was a real small crack that came up visible afterward. I gotta drop a few more pieces in there. Over here, that was a little hard to get into, uh, but nice and thick weld right on here. We're going to grind that back smooth again. And this one had a bunch of crap in it, as you can see. Porosity here, porosity here. So we're going to grind all that porosity out and we'll backfill that. But I ground it on the back side already and filled any porosity on the back side. Hopefully this is just at the surface. We'll see when we get down. But I'm going to take this ring off next and we're going to see how, how flat that surface is compared to all the distorted surfaces we had previously. Okay, so I got those rings out, and that worked great. These are all um, flush enough for a mower. This one is going to take a little bit of beating. It's probably still a 30-second below. Um, some of these are low, right? But they're all pretty flush. So this one, we're gonna, we'll just weld and grind to get that back to whole-ish. And since he wanted, uh, he wanted these rings welded back on, I'm not going to care so much about the roundness of these holes because that ring is going to be the new supporting structure so we'll just make sure that the clearance is fine for the bolts to pass through without issue and that should be pretty good so a little clean up here some top side weld and uh, this side should basically be done okay here we are with the top side the one that was really bad as you can see we've got uh, still the, the holes aren't round but like i said the ring this ring is going to go over and be welded in place and become the new registration point for all of these. So all we need below is enough clearance for the bolts to get in, which I already checked, so we're good with that. So I'm going to clean this up, clamp it in place like we had for initial welding, and uh, then weld this ring in place, and this side will be done. So that's great. So I'm going to go over here, and I did find a few top side cracks, like I said. So this one, and so we'll go ahead and clean these up after I get this side done. Those over there will be really quick, just a little bit of weld and grind and they're good. Um, but we should be all set with this one relatively soon here. And here we go, this is the back side of the really bad one. Uh, as you can see, we welded up all the cracks around here. It's all level back in one plane again. There's a couple little um, weld toes. I didn't grind flush here and here. That's not a crack, that's just the toe from the weld. And, uh, you know, I had to fill in some of the holes. They were elongated, rounded. Um, some of them were actually missing metal out here. So I welded that in, um, got it close, then just used a step bit, you know, to drill them out to the right size. And over here, this was just a matter of some small surface cracks. Um, on the back side, welded those, ground them smooth, and the same thing with the step bit to round the holes back out. So the other side over there has its ring welded on the front. This one is about to get the ring welded on the front of it. Uh, I got to prep the ring, put it on, and I'll come back for some pictures after that. All right, well, here it is completed. Got the two rings welded in. You can see this one here and this one here. Everything's back in plain. Uh, the coloration is because I've sandblasted some of it so he can paint it a little bit easier. Uh, over here, I got this bracket welded back in, this bracket welded back in, and uh, that front tire over there, that bracket got welded back on. Um, I don't know what he hit, but he hit it hard, that's for sure. So this one, I did leave the, the um, top and bottom sheet metal welds proud. I didn't ground those, grind those down. I just wanted to have that little bit extra material in there. So overall, went pretty good. I'm pleased with it. Uh, it's going to work for him, and he'll be back in business. So thanks.